Hi, I'm Professor E, and welcome to the Robot Program. In this episode, we'll show you how to use RoboScratch to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. Let's meet DJ in the studio to learn how. This exercise can be performed with JD, Six, or Roly. As always, we want to start with a fully charged robot. Make sure to disconnect your robot before you get started. So remember to disconnect the battery. We're going to gently rock back and forth the charger and hold the plug rather than the wires. We're going to show you how to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. And of course, we can use any of our three Revolution robots, Six, JD, and Roly, to do this because they all can wave. To begin, let's start by turning your robot on, of course. And we're going to be using JD for this example, which means we have to lie him down before you connect to this with the software. Now we're going to load up Easy Builder. And we're going to bypass by clicking skip this menu because we don't want to go to the Easy Robot School. In this case, we're going to load up an example project. So select the example projects from the bookmarks and locate the bear project for your robot. If you have a JD, locate bear, JD bear and click open. If you have Rolly bear, select that. And of course, if you have six bear, select that. And for this example, we're going to use JD bear. We're going to click open. And we don't want to see how to put the robot together because I'm sure you've already watched the previous episode, in which case your robot is already together. So click not now. And if you have a JD robot, it'll ask you to load your fine tuned template. Do that. If you have a six or roll E, it's not going to ask you. We're going to select the Wi Fi network for the robot. In this case, we have ours named as EZBV4JD. And yours will have a bunch of characters on it, unless you've already renamed it. We'll select it. And stand back while we connect to the robot. Let's go into our auto position here and choose stand from sit. Now, only JD owners can do this because your other robots are already standing. And watch this. There he goes, JD stood up. Let's go into the project button and choose add for add controls and select camera and choose camera device. What we've just done is we've added a control, which is a behavior for the robot. And in this case, it's a camera. Now you see the camera is not showing any information on the screen at this point. We're going to push the start button to begin connecting to the robot. And there you go. Say hi, Andreas. You're on the screen. So remember, in this case, the camera is a type of computer peripheral. So we're getting information into this camera, and that's the information that we're going to use to control the robot's actions. You got it. And you can see what the robot is seeing right there through there we go say hi <laughs> through the camera view so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to show you how to when the robot sees a face through the camera the robot's going to wave and introduce itself so we're going to do that using robo scratch to begin choose file and select the robo scratch tab from the top and you can see the camera view inside of this little window up here. And on the left, you have all these different things you can get the robot to do. Now, these are all things that are behaviors that have already been added to the robot, in which case things like moving and things like speaking and things like um, recognizing faces because we added the camera control. So you'll also notice that there's actions that say wait and there's say that says wait. And then finally, there's a wait for face. What we're going to do is we're going to have the robot wait for a face by selecting that. And we're going to scroll up. We're going to choose the word say. And we're going to type in I see you. And we're going to scroll up even further. And we're going to choose action wait and select wave from the list. And what we've just done is we've added these three components and the word wait means it's going to wait until that action is complete. So now if we run this script and we have the robot facing Professor E here, 
So first, let's get you out of the out of the window. So stand stand over here so the robot can't see you. A little bit further. Okay. A little further. Okay. Now we're gonna push start, and the robot's waiting for a face as you see in the screen. So why don't you go and put your face in front of the robot? I see you. Hi, JD. Okay, so that's waving with JD. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like with Rolly and Six. Great. So why don't we pass Six over and let's do him next. And you stand behind me so it's out of okay. camera view. Let's make sure that everybody can see him here. There we go. Okay, I'll run this RoboScratch project. Now put your face in there and let's see if he sees you. I see you. Hi, Six. Now, would you like to do the same thing with Rolly? Let's see it. So we'll turn Rolly around. So okay, that, out of the frame again. Yeah. Just make sure he's here in the camera so people can see. Now I'm going to click Start to run the script and jump in and let's see if Rolly sees you. I see you. Hi, Rolly. <laughs> there you go. So you've seen it with the wave when he sees your face with all three of the Revolution robots. Great, so we did that with Six, JD, and Rolly. That's fantastic. In this episode, we showed you how to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. We always want to start with a fully charged robot. Make sure to disconnect from your robot before you get started. You're going to power on and connect via Wi-Fi and bring up Easy Builder. So once we're connected and our robot is in the calibration position, you're going to want to load the bear project for your robot, whether you're using Rolly 6 or JD. In this example, we used JD. Once you're in the bear project, you're going to add the camera control and then go over to your RoboScratch workspace. In the RoboScratch workspace, you're going to click on Wait for Face. This action tells the robot that it's going to wait and keep looking through its camera until it sees a human face enter the frame. Then we decide what we want it to do after it does see that face. And in this case, we chose to have it say, I see you. So you're going to click on the Say action and type in the text that you want your robot to say. This could be anything you want. You can have it recognize an actual person, or you could say, I see you, or you could say, Ah, I'm afraid somebody's in front of me. The last thing we're going to do is determine what we actually want the robot to do after it speaks. In this case, we decided to have the action to be wait and wave. The reason we use the wait action is because this makes sure that the robot will execute the entire wave movement before it would go on to the next command. To run your program, you're going to click the green start button. This executes your code from beginning to end. In RoboScratch, you can step through each of the actions by watching the highlighting that happens and by following the green line that indicates which step will be performed next. RoboScratch is a linear programming environment, which means we're always going to step through from the beginning to the end without any loops or returning back to the front or to any other position. Remember to disconnect and power down your robot when you're finished and plug it in so you're fully charged for next time. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you in the next video. What peripheral device is used to detect a face? What does action wait mean? What is linear programming? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.